go then, it's July and I'm going to take a long break in between filming these scenes with the fan on because yeah, it's flipping hot. What's also been pretty hot has been the Electrolux Turbomatic Z380. Hot as in, oh she's good, she's lovely and hot because yeah, it runs really hot. And I cannot deny, I think it has developed a slight new noise. Let me demonstrate that, see what you think. We'll see how she's been, check the bag, how it ripped itself apart, and I'll explain how I completely cheated for the entire month. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? How's your month been? Been all right? Excellent. Mine's been a bit iffy. The car started playing up. That's a bit of a shame. This thing, well, it, it, it hasn't played up really. Again, noise aside, we'll get onto that in a minute. It's been very nice. Very nice indeed. If you take that off for a second and come onto that in a minute, yes, I got my leg perfect with this. I mean, I've always quite liked the single one design, but they're a pain in the ass to post. I hate it specifically for that reason. But to use with this handle, again, this is quite key, otherwise it's a bit short. It's lovely. The perfect height. The only real problem I found with this handle is that the end is a little bit dinted. I mean, you, know, you can sort of see it on the top. In fact, it probably would sort itself out quite easily. The problem I found is that it's made it a bit hard to put into the dusting brush. And you've got to really force it in because it's, it's just not quite round. Probably could have been tidied up. But again, it goes into the wand absolutely fine. And it goes into the crevice tool absolutely fine. Which, there was a big spider in the porch. And I gave that a little bit of a ramming up against the bricks. Oops. Took it absolutely fine. So yeah, this seal has been absolutely rock solid. I mean, look, you can tell because I have used this for the odd naughty clean up. It's got a heifer flow in it after all. Look, you can just see all the filth has just been battering all around there. But outside of that seal is spotless, which is a good sign. A good sign indeed. Um, let's start on here because, oh, did you drop your minute? Hang on. There you go. You should come out, really. Everybody would love to see you. This post motor Electrolux micro filter isn't bad, actually. There's. Yeah, there's no dirt coming off there. I don't want to take it off because, as you can see, the airflow has started to do something, and there is quite a bit of carbon dust on there. I, I don't think this motor is a thousand percent happy. It's not bad. I don't think it's going to go wrong anytime soon, but yeah, we'll come on to that in a minute. Inside of here though, I haven't really looked in here to see what it's like. Ooh, hello, that's a, that's a half full bag I'd say. Oh, what are you doing? Get back in there. Yeah, that's a pretty decent bag. This thing has not lost any airflow at all. It has been Fantastically good. Obviously, it was designed for you know A4 paper style paper bag and is all the better for it. And this, which probably would have been destroyed by now if I'd have used it with a paper bag, is still spotless. Absolutely lovely. And in there is too. So that's good. That is excellent news. Oh, that's going to be a fiddle to put back. Oh, no, I've done it. That's going to be excellent news. So, oh. No, can we fit this bag? Yeah, back in there. Because, yeah, I want to turn it on and see if we can capture the slight noise that I think has happened. And it started about a week in, I think. I did notice it. Bit of a shame. If I just turn it on, it's not too bad, really. That. quite know what it is it doesn't seem that bad i'd imagine that the bearing is you know all the grease i put in it's gone now and it's still be better than it was and when it's running it's okay you know i 
it's fine. It's just that. So that's a little bit of a shame. I mean, it is just, yeah, standard cylinder Electrolux motor. Possibly, well, oh, crikey, I don't know. It probably is going to be the bigger size. There's two sizes. There's a wider size and then a slightly smaller size. I imagine it's the wider size, but I don't actually know. I've probably got pictures. But that's a little bit relevant because oh, this could be for sale if you would like it. I don't particularly need to keep it. I need to get rid of some vacuum. So, hey, we're finished with it now. And it's lovely to have both of its suppressors replaced and it's quite rare, I think. So if you do want it, give me a shout and I'm sure we can work something out if you're in the UK. If not, I'll put it on eBay and turn global shipping on and we'll see what happens because, yeah, I need some space as we all do but obviously i have cheated massively because i haven't used this too much and when i have it's been on hard floor mode only that's because i remembered that we have this and obviously this is our battery powered turbo head and as you can see i've used it a lot and it's funny really because this is slightly better on hard floor than this floor tours so this has just ended up being fitted the whole month, which does transform this into a beast if you put a turbo head on it. I think they would have come with a turbo head in some country, I think. I'm sure there was a banking plate somewhere in here, or maybe that was the other model. Well, comment down below whether this was a Viking or whatever they were, a Trident. All of the Electrolux brands, there must have been a power nozzle version of this, because it suits it perfectly. There's so much airflow, and this is a pretty good power head for its for what it is so yeah it was lovely the irony isn't lost on me that this was probably better set up like this than the vacuum cleaner that you all voted for for me to use in july so let me cool down a little bit and then we'll have a look at what we've got the vacuum cleaner of the month as voted for by you yay we're finally getting to use the electrolux Turbo 2. I've been waiting for this. That's sort of why I skewed this month's poll. And just put two options because I do want to use this. I've only really had experience with the older you know, 500 series of twin turbos and they are very good. And I'd always sort of just written these off as modern trash and they wouldn't be as good. But in the brief period that I've used this whilst refurbishing it, and afterwards, I think I almost prefer this. It's taller, the handle is nicer, it's far less creaky completely. The rear wheels are nicer, the whole base plate system is nicer. Underneath, the hose won't, shouldn't split. It's just better. They obviously, well, obviously it should be. It's the last one they did. Everything before this was leading up. To this moment and it's not too faded either i think it's starting to go a little bit cream but not as bad as i have seen them and yeah it's just been sat around since it was refurbished really what's in here well there is a bag oh look it's a mila u1 bag very nice that is fairly clean that'll just have whatever dirt i would have picked up from oh, pointless isn't it you can't see that's just whatever dirt i'd have picked up post refer before it went up in the loft i think that's going to be absolutely fine to use and yeah it's just an electrolux twin turbo really nothing more nothing less it has a molded plug because it is of that era although the nice style of molded plug not the modern cheap nasty one i've got my filming light where the cable is breaking and in theory this should just run Perfectly beautifully well. Yeah. This thing also surprised me with its very excellent grooming action as well. Turn that off. When we first refurbished it. But I fear me leaving it sat for probably over a year now with this belt on. It stretched. I don't know if you could hear it. It was just stopping on the rug. And I remember this being quite good. So I think we'd better put a belt on it. 
In theory, we just undo these two screws. Come on. And flip that over there. Yeah, look, this in the hose is much nicer because, yeah, it isn't really short. So we can pop that out of the way. Remove this. Oh, dear. I mean, it's leaving a few bits around. Maybe it should be fine. What is wrong with this belt? Oh, it's, it is an electronic belt. Oh, it's so fiddly to get out because it's really tight to the edge of the belt guard. But I don't want to take the whole motor cover off. Shouldn't have to do that. There it is. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a bit of a shame because that was probably a brand new genuine belt at some point. But it's just been sat at full stretch ranges. If you store your machines for more than a couple of months, I would highly recommend just popping the belt off because they do stretch, especially on these older single belt machines, especially like now when I'm just using a very cheap eBay special belt. There it is. And um, yeah, it isn't going to last terribly long, which yeah, bit of a shame. Ah, there you go. Bit of a shame, but again, what can you do? The more you use it, the less it will stretch. So yeah, I'm, I'm quietly confident that now I've gone to all this effort, we should be okay. But yeah, it's just where it's been sat in a hot loft at full stretch. Oh, it's finny. Ah, there we go. Make sure that that rotates. Pop this back down. We'll do up the screws and then we'll try again. And hopefully now, if we flip it back over, turn the power back on, the brush roll shouldn't stall. There it is. Yeah. This has got such a stiff brush roll on it. It's amazing. It's brand new brush roll. Fantastic, that's how I remember it. And of course, being a twin turbo, we still have this here, which is the deal. some nowadays quite mediocre, but still not bad, airflow. Because of course, this thing isn't going to be great on the hard floor, I don't think. Let's see. Now we'll start off with the usual birdcage mess as we have normally. But if I just take this minute, and you know, this is what it looks like after five, ten minutes of the birds being on it. If I just come over here, move the cable, so I don't destroy that. I think you want to be looking at the back of this machine more than the front. <laughs> I was expecting indeed it clamped itself down to the linoleum which this is this is literally we found it we've thrown out on the way to school just like our greatest vacuum bin find I found this lovely bit of lamin laminate flooring that was new because it had been fitted to the kitchen it was an off cut and it captures all the poopies that fall off the front of the cage so I can scrub this and I'm going to scrub the finish off of the laminate that's why that is there. But of course, we, we, we don't have to worry about only being able to use it like this because we have the tool. Our optional tools, or maybe they would have just come with them at this point because they were end of mine. I'm not too sure. Comment down below if you know, no, but I would imagine that these just got chucked in any which way you have to stop them. Well, I reckon they just made a million of them. Um, that's why they all got put on. That's why you're missing lots of boxes of tools without vacuum. So, yeah, we have the tools. I'm probably going to be a bit sad and put this box somewhere out of the way because as much as it's held together with tape, and again, being from the mid-90s, it's just 
Cheap trash. It's a box that holds the tools, so I don't want it to get destroyed in normal use. Yeah, we have our tools with our glider S upholstery tool with slide on dusting brush. Our nice Electrolux crevice tool, which they just used forever until the European influence came into British Electrolux and they stopped with this lovely style and started with the stupid style that we saw on things like the Electrolux 4x4 and the, the Excelios. They all changed the tools, so yeah, this was only for this and the glider, but this crevice tool, oh, it's been around the block a bit. Yeah, we have ourselves a hose. We can now above floor clean. Oh, yeah. Isn't going to set the world on fire. Oh, blind me, I shouldn't hold that there. Look, it's pulling at the top. Isn't going to set the world on fire, but we'll be fine for a little bit of light dusting. As we'll see in a minute when we go through the monthly cordless roundup. We don't really have a need for the tools. I will try and use them. For instance, we only have this one one. However, I have got into the stash and found a random one and a random floor tool because yeah like, <laughs> I'll show you what the hose is doing in a second oh dear. because yeah it's, it, it might be good enough yeah. wasn't too bad. Its biggest issue is that if I hold it too close to the machine, the hose, oh, just out of shot, eh, the hose kinks look <laughs> like that. I mean, it's not too bad when you get going, but yeah, this is, I mean, I can see why many people didn't bother with the toolkit. And again, it's what makes me think they must have had so many surplus toolkits to the machine if they ever bothered to do that in the first place. Because yeah, this, I don't know, should it have better airflow than this? <laughs> How perky are twin turbos, but equally it, 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 it seems okay. It's back together well enough and, you know, clamps itself down to the floor. There's some fluff there. Clamps itself down to the floor absolutely fine. So I think it's just going to be one of those things. That doesn't really matter because, as you know, I am tag teaming this with the Greenote GSC50, which has been, as usual so far, touch wood, pretty Fantastic, he's been emptied quite a lot, so this is only sort of, ah, can't see if I get This is only the last day or so worth of dirt. Look, we can pop this on the floor like so. And then the reason I like this is that cleaning it is so easy. This shouldn't be too dirty, because I did this the other day, because it was a bit bad. So if we lift out all of this, you can see, yeah, look, that's like a week. A week's worth of dirt, that is, that's as bad as it gets. And hey, well, we can, as is tradition, plug all of this back in. Oh, it's ever so convenient, isn't it? This isn't a fat at all on a really hot day. <laughs> I think this has more airflow than that. Try if you look like it. Yeah, there we go. That can go on there. So I gave it a good old wash. I picked up probably something a bit naughty, even fat around the lower hair chalk. Um, I went at it with this. So the filters all got a good old scrub. Why aren't you connected? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so the filters had a good scrub a while ago. So we're not too bad. <laughs> yeah, that feels about the same as that entire electrolytes. Oh dear, oh dear. And look, the brush roll has some grass stuck to it. It's not an anti-hair wrap brush roll, but I'll be honest, having seen the state that, you know, a 
Yeah, an old Dyson and Shark will get itself into where the anti-hair wrap just rips the brush roll apart. I'll take doing this. Look, this is all we need to do, I say. That'll probably do it. Tuck that down there. Clean that up. Not very difficult, isn't it? I honestly cannot be bothered to get the whole wipey coffee thing done. That is from the month. As you know, we did it last month. It's far too hot to do it this month. But that's how it starts. Every day, unless you're really careful. Comment down below if you've ever not had this happen. I mean, you know, the kids have walked in with wet shoes. And here it is. That's how it gets. But of course, as you know, we can clean it far more easily than any other cordless vacuum because you can get to it. So we're going to leave that. We'll see how bad it gets next month. Then, last but certainly not least, is the Greeno GCH01, the micro vacuum cleaner. And this has been ever so handy. I mean, look, it, it just gets used, used, used. The filter isn't too bad. Yeah, I, I definitely try not to use this for really fine powdery stuff because it may not coat too well. <laughs> And clean out in here. Now, I bake my own bread in a bread maker, so as it comes out, and as we cut it, bread goes everywhere. <laughs> that is what I've been using this for. I, mean, I don't know if you can tell, but we're starting to get some pretty decent wear on this little tool. Charlie uses it all the time because he can pick it up. And, I mean, if I just turn the camera, underneath my dining room table, it's actually his den. And birds, bless them, their natural breeze and the door being open and blowing that way, blows all that stuff into the corner. And he'll take this, he'll take the little green out, he'll go into the corner, and he'll just give it a clean up, and then put it back on the desk, which is where we keep charging. So that works very well. There we go. Yeah, that's all fine. So that's had its monthly service. What have we had this for now? Three weeks. How are we getting on in three weeks? Well... This seal is okay, but it is, as I thought it might do, it's just, just scratching up the top of this corner. It's not a lot you can do about it. And I doubt anybody's really going to care, but the rubber seal seems fine. It's not falling out. Put the bin on. This made me chuckle just a little bit. So that is, I would call that unlocked. Then the arrow doesn't seem to line up with anything. That is closed and the arrows line up. But obviously to unlock it, you go away from the screen printer. I think those just need to be turned around. But again, you don't even look at it. You just twist it, dump it, put it back on, and you're done. You can push the button. I push it twice, I'll be honest. It has more power. Bit of a shame this isn't a digital motor, but again, if it was, it probably wouldn't be 30 quid. Smash it onto setting two. It lasts days, I mean, you, you only use it for a couple of minutes at a time, it lasts for days and days and days. You don't notice it. If you push it on twice hard enough, speed it up. This has, to within my margin of error, of how I'm testing it now, pretty much the same airflow as that Electrolux. Isn't that funny? But, unfortunately, neither of these are going to be even near as good as the Electrolux will be on the carpet, because it won't be. And look, we can recreate like an old catalogue photo you know, on the Hoovers, where the different nozzles would come in and be seen. Yeah, look at that. We have every eventuality. This for a quick fit round and... Probably more the hard floor because it is very good. This head, it clamps down and it lets the dirt through. It's it's perfect. This for everything above floor that isn't dusting, probably. And then this for the carpet. And I think 
we will do okay. So what do you think? Do you think you made the right choice for July if you voted? In my YouTube poll, do let me know. What do you think we should go for next month? Because I have to say, I want to start getting through these Electroluxes a bit and Maidens in Space. So I reckon we shall put the loser, which was the Z185E, against another contender next month. And we'll see how long it lasts before I just get sick and tired of not using the Z185E and overrule you and use it. Who knows? There is everything to play for. So until the next time, I thank you very much for watching and would love to hear your experiences of, well, using any of these machines, although probably more this, knowing my audience. And yeah, until the end of the month or the next video, I and this stuff will see you soon. Bye-bye.